All right, grand finals of low ink May edition, actually in May, is starting. <laughs> All star squad versus Agaru. Here we go. Okay, all yeah, all star squad coming up, coming up with some weapons that you, we haven't seen all tournament. The regular junior and Luna Blaster. We haven't seen too much CDS either. Heavy's only been here and there. Sniper's been more of the favorite today. So all star squads have have a lot of weapons we haven't that haven't had much or any representation. The raid coming out from Agaru. Getting getting one of the picks. And of course, All Star Squad immediately coming out with their own ray. So things are looking in. Still, well, things are still close. It's definitely looking in favor of of Agaru right now. Uh, not Agaru. I meant All Star Squad. And as soon as I say that, as soon as I say that, two of All Star Squad goes down. H3 gets a pick. The ray's coming out. This could be a. This is. This has a very strong potential for being an early late lead for Agaru. And if it, and if this goes in for if this goes on for too much longer, that's already 57 points. And this push still isn't even done yet. That's three more down on All Star Squad. That's three more points too. This is this put. This is a devastating first push, and they might even knock it's out. It's not over of yet. It's not over. Agaru is not done. They got more clams right there. Two more clams short of knockout. They're coming from every way. There they are. All push. star squad one push, goes down. One knockout. Garu in the yellow dominates all star squad to go into the first match of the game. One push. That was stuck. I'm there. I'm both. Both teams were looking pretty close and neutral, but as soon as Agaru start, as soon as Agaru got going, Agaru got going. That was really, really strong way to start off for Agaru. That's that's all you want, just a straight up domination. You start that way, and you just slowly crush the opponent. So. And currently, we'll have to see if All Star Squad can find a way to bring back momentum in their favor. Rainmaker Ink Blot Art Academy match that can be quite beautiful to watch. A lot more balance of a map. A lot more, a lot better than other thing. A lot better than a uh, Fort Mac. I'll tell you what. <laughs> And then, and then here we are, and then here we are with Inkblot Art Academy, and Inkblot Art Academy is just, again, it's just, no matter what map mode, it's just really balanced across all of them, which is why it's become a fan favorite of Splatoon 2. It really is. I mean, it's, it's not necessarily my favorite, but I understand why people love this map. It I mean, it's practically it. the walleye warehouse of Splatoon 2. Oh, God. <laughs> where it's just like where it's just like no matter what map mode it is everybody loves uh, you know if it, it even if it's a mode they don't like they're at least okay at least it's on inkblot art academy and here we are getting started with the second match of finals. Here we are. The Time. Yep, the T Tech. Yep. T Tech coming out, but otherwise, All Star Squad. Uh, sticking with what they know, and yeah, both both sides swapping only like around one or two weapons, generally sticking to what they know. So so far, All Star Squad taking new 
taking neutrals, and this and this could be the start of All Star Squad get uh, All Star Squad getting a really good lead. Wasabi though coming out the quick ray. Wasabi shut down. This could be a very this this could be a very dominant lead in the first minute for All Star squads. Oh, it's just Wasabi. Wasabi getting a trade. All Star and squad going back in and making it a one one set that quickly. That's what you want. Both sides knocking out each other in less than a, in roughly in only like the first two minutes. That's crazy. It's just like a car. <laughs> yeah, All Star Squad is like, yeah, we need to bring momentum back. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. Next up is gonna be tower control. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hold on, just a second. Got a problem on my end. <laughs> oh no. My net decided to start bleeding upload. Hold on. Alright, I think we got it stable. Sorry about that, everyone. I think we're good. <laughs> Alright, are we That's good? That's my end. Good? We're good. Don't think it was right. you. <laughs> oh. Still, that is going to make it a 1-1. One, one. Oh, both teams... Both teams showing how ridiculous their offense are. Wow, both offenses are fantastic here. Not not even just getting good pushes. No, they just win right off one push. Right off the bat. Just show your domination. And what are you going to do? I'm... Honestly, it's really hard to say. I'm... Both teams have just been have just been swapping around a weapon or two, sticking to what they know. And at this point, it's hard to say who. Will, uh, at this point, it's really hard to say because say you know who, who's in favor right now because both teams have shown it's a very neutral standpoint right now. It's definitely what you want to see in a match. All right, both teams have ready up. We'll be getting, and here we are getting into into the third match of finals. Yep, all stars and rip. Yep, swap swapping around maybe a weapon or two, but both sides sticking very very similar comps throughout the entire throughout this entire set. Alt star squad immediately getting a pick. Start this match. And gets yeah, two no. picks, that's what you want to see. Yeah, and, and at this point, just knowing how and just knowing how the set has been going so far, all star squad is just uh, they they like they're you're they're using offense. their momentum. They've earned some momentum and they want to use it. When you get momentum, you never want it to stop. So that way the other opponent just doesn't doesn't go. Yeah, all yeah, with All Star Squad, they're jumping in. They're not letting this they're not letting this they don't want this push die quite yet. Even with the ray coming out. The ray will stop the ray will stop the push though. Very strong very strong uh first push from I'm uh, from All Stars here. Not not a terrible start. Definitely something they can build off of. And if Bliss can get this snipe, it'll be so crucial. The winner of that sniper I'm battle, which does looks like it'll be a draw this time. That's so crucial. I'm both sides have shown that the, I'm one thing that's made both sides excel is they're so fast. Both sides are so fast. The moment, the moment one side gets the other picks, you're gonna find you're gonna find the entire team on the en on the enemy glass, and they're only gonna keep put and they're only gonna keep pushing in from there. Agaru here, almost bring almost bringing it back. The push isn't quite done yet. Isn't done quite yet. Oh, the sniper hits the splashdown, denying that, and another splashdown gets shot down. That just shows you. The changes of splat, how just easy it is compared to what it used to be to shoot down. 
very consistently shooting down, very consistently shooting down the splash on the very, very you know, very good shots by the charger. I'm being able to shut down the splash downs and thus one of their main offensive weapons that really that really shuts down their pushing capabilities. So currently both both teams fighting over neutral. All Stars is going to use their armor and rays looking to get some picks. Are able to get two but not quite able to kill the charger. Char Charger getting one critical pit pick on the slosh machine. And is able to bring out the ray, and that is going to shut down All Stars push. Now it's time to see if our Agaru can is able to bring this all the way back. They have two minutes to do it. Here they go. They're gonna have missiles ready. The junior has armor ready, but drop they drop one. But smartly enough, actually falling off the map would be is the smartest key there. Even if that wasn't on purpose, that ended up being the smartest move when you're going to lose that 2v1, most likely. I'm, uh, I'm ultimately, yeah, these, yeah, those kind of plays are what, are what really going to add, you know, just those small things are ultimately are what, are what going to add up and help you make those big plays. Armor coming out from All-Star Squad. Junior gets oh, knocked off the map. Agaru fighting for that lead. One point away. Ray's out. Or, or three points away. They gotta get on tower. The ray, the ray's gone. If they're gonna do it, now's the time. The, the ray's out oh, of the, the way. Oh, the junior versus H3. H3 wins. And that H3 will be for the lead right now with a minute left. Agaru bringing it back. Looking to get the second checkpoint. All Star Squad needs to find a. All Star Squad needs to find an answer, and they need to find it fast. But are not able. We not are not able to do that. Our All Star Squad will drop this game here. We have not seen a single match in finals that has not been a knockout. But every but it's been but that one was really close of a knockout. Tell you what, other than that last yeah, push, that... it was close. Yeah, no, that knockout came at the very last minute. All right, let me see. So next up is going to be Splat Zones on Camp Triggerfish. Let's see. Oh, shit. All right. All right. As soon as both teams are ready, we'll get we will straight start this. In. Yep, we'll get straight into... In match number four. I mean, so far it's been a lot of back is this like all definitely a lot of back and forth. I think all of them have been knockouts, but it's always but it's always been a back and forth knockout. Definitely. That's what we want to see here in this tournament. Even if it is gonna be a knockout, we want it to be back and forth up until the very end. I not I mean, either way, I yeah, we got. I mean, we gotta see if they can, because they certainly have. Because both teams really do have their offense down. But we, but we just have to. But we just have to see if they're able to. If they're able to, you know, um, solve the issues with defense that they've both been having. And if and I feel like if one team is able to shut down one of the team's really strong offenses and that's that's really gonna that's what's really gonna help and you know that's what's really gonna help one team take out the other All right, here we are, going into splat zones on Camp Triggerfish. 
Both teams still very confident in what they've been running. The Rapid Deco coming out here, a weapon we have not seen all tournament, though undeniably very strong here on camp on camp uh, zones. We have ourselves some pushes here. Already, Agaru pushing up very hard. Junior gets Agaru one. Gets get sniped, both. though. Yep, Agaru able to get both zones for a bit. If they're able to take out the two on left, that... They're building up the Wraith just for that. That's one of them. Gets the other. Gets an another one. Agaru. The Wraith coming out. Agaru getting another pick. So Agaru is... Yeah, currently this is a really strong lead. Though it looks, though it looks like All Stars is about to bring it back. Every second matters, though, because that's already over 50 for Garu. And if they're not, they need a little cap here, and they are very, very strong um, cap from from All Star squad there. Agaru, All Star squad trying to get it in, but they lost two. The pyro and pyro pops missiles and gets another one down. A all star squad, well being able to get the cap, all it ultimately does is buy them more time. Agaru still ho still holding a very strong lead over all star squad. And currently, All Star Squad, if they're at least, I mean, they at least need to, be able to keep their own their own zone neutral. Other otherwise, this is gonna be otherwise it's gonna look really dominant for Agaru yet again. I got Agaru getting the critical point, getting the critical pick on the enemy's charger. The junior here's gonna keep it a little down, neutral a little longer, give his team a chance. Agaru slowly but surely making their own lead more and more dominating. The Singray helping get two picks. Agaru has just been holding this down the entire time, and this is it. This is All Star. This is All Star's last chance. Not able to pull through. Unfortunately, not this time for All Star Squad. We will actually fall down in a in the set three to one to Agaru, who is nearing one more match away. From taking low ink May edition. Every like every match here could be our last from here on out. Yes, it can be. Will All Star Squad be able to beat that? That's the question we'll have to have. We'll have to answer here in just a moment. Plan Blitz on Ar on Arowana Mall is going to be our next map mode. All right. All right, this is gonna be do or die from here on out for all for All Star Squad. And so, I mean, so far, both teams have been sticking to what they're comfortable with, and it's and if and if All Star Squad wants to make any changes, this is this is possibly their last chance to do so. So we'll just have to see if they're if they'll stick true to what's gotten them this far. Or if they're gonna try, or if they're just gonna try to make some last second changes to be able to to counter what Agaru to counter what Agaru has been able to do so far. Let's see. Let's see if Agaru can, or if uh, All Star Squad can take advantage of this with Clan Blitz to get back in here. They show what they can do in Rainmaker. So if they can survive to that, they may be able to get themselves the tide swing into the others, into their own favor. We'll see what they can do though. Yep. Put uh, 15 more seconds on the weapon selection. So as soon as that is up, we will begin to match five of finals.
All right, both teams are ready. All right, this is it. Possibly the final match of Low Ink May Edition. All right, let's see what let's see what All Star Squad can do here. They can definitely do this. They've shown they can. Let's see what. Well, both teams still sticking true to. Both teams still sticking to very similar comps. So this is the this is the second time I believe we've seen Ballpoint coming out. Ballpoint, very strong weapon. Very good for this map. I definitely agree with you, Leaf. Here, let's see what they can do with it, though. Yep. Garu already drops one though with the Octo and the Ballpoint taking him down. Yep. And if and if All Star Squad is able to is able to save strong. Oh no, that's two of All Star Squad going down. The Ray. Right. A fantastic time to Ray here. Ray at, and what and one of All Star Squads falls down. If Agar if Agaru are are able to get the clams they need together, this is this is going to look, be looking very dominant for them yet again. That's gonna be that's gonna be one down on Agaru. That was very and very important pick from the ball point there. Another one of Agaru going down. It doesn't, so it doesn't look like this will be this will be Agaru's big push. As long as all this one though, heavy amounts of map control, all of them pushing in together. And they have two down. This is their chance. Every point here's their chance. Put some board, points on the board. Yeah, they, and they have, and they have. They have seven clams here that they can get in, along with another six coming in. If and they got it open eight. If they hurry up, yeah. they, that's another power. If they get that power clam in. The power clamp. And look, there's more little ones there. In. Look at these points going for All Star Squad. This is All exactly Stars... what we want. All Star Squad doing exactly to what Agaru did to that. Oh, two more clams. Two more clams. Gets one. One more clam. One slash. One Deca. more. Any clam anywhere? Oh, there's some there. Oh no! The charger <laughs> saves it. The charger saves it. Shoots the slashy Deco. Wow. They have to cut. They have to knock out, well, or nearly knock out, to have a chance to win it right now. This is crazy. Oh. Let's see what Agaru can do. They've shown they can do it. All Star Squad did almost exactly to what Agaru did in the beginning of this set. That's wow. But let's see if not completely finishing it is going to cost All Star Squad. Honestly, with how these two teams have go been going back and forth, I wouldn't even say this is a safe lead. I wouldn't either. There's a very good chance that Agaru can bring it back. But right Agaru. now, with half the game done, it's it's gonna it it's a good lead. It's a long it's a long road ahead for Agaru, but they have shown that they, that they are more than capable of ending this set right here and right now. Here comes a baller, but unsuccessful. Uh, and the flank getting the ray on Agaru's side. That's still gonna be three down for All Star Squad. Agar Agaru's getting their clams ready, and if they're able, and if they're all able to push and left together, that will, that they might be able to bring it back like they did in the first game. They have 25 clams. Make that 20. And with now with pities. Ooh, bomb almost worked there. Yeah, they have the clam. They have the clams. They have oh, the clams, the but now they're down one. Down. And they're wasting their. They're down. losing their specials that they ha were gonna have a chance to push in from. And they go down another one. And that's another down on the side of Agaru. All Star Squad shutting down Agaru. Time another time one goes clams. down. Look at look at All Star Squad go! They, they they got themselves going. Let's see what let's see if they can keep going. All Star Squad has been and has been really really. Here's good a baller. Time. Pushing him back, got one. Yeah. Oh nope, didn't get into one. They just they lived. To... I even despite not getting the power clam in. That might be a better option at that point. They weren't going to get any points off of that. It's yeah, almost so better to not give them that pity. Exactly. And now they got, and at least one jumped out, so that way they stay and effective alive. Agaru only has come. 30 seconds to knock, completely knock out All-Star Squad. 
Here it comes. This is a, this is a good chance. Let's see what Agaru can do. But yep, I don't think this is I don't think this is as clear cut as as All Star no, Squads it, was. Yeah, it doesn't look like they'll be able to get it. It's just a charger. Wasabi, Wasabi just saved it, but they they go down. And they and don't that get it. Is going to be it. They don't get it. That will be a victory for All Star Squad. They keep themselves in this tournament. It's that not over well till they say it's over. So potentially, so only one to two more games left. Fantastic win here for the All Star Squad to keep themselves alive. They Agaru, need... if Agaru wants to win, it's in their interest to end this as quick as possible. But All Star Squad isn't making that easy for them. Yes, of course. Any, any sort of, any sort of momentum swing here. It's a little bit of momentum swing, so they have to find a way to knock them down. They, uh, they knock it down now, they'll be fine. Next up is Raymaker on Black Bully. And as we saw, Raymaker, Raymaker might uh, is just out, uh, is just uh, All Star Squad specialty. They were able, last match, last match we saw, they were able to knock out in less than a minute. Fantastic. Fantastic play there. And it's not over. Let's see if they'll do it again. If or all, if All Star Squad can pull off a similar feat, then we will be seeing Game Seven on Grand Finals. Something we have not seen. We have seen Game Six. We've never seen Game Seven here at Low Ink. Got very close, but never, never completely there. So we'll see if our All Star Squad can make a new Low Ink record here. Both teams just starting up, and as soon as they're ready, we'll start up with round with match six of grand finals. Uh, you definitely know All Star Squad's thinking about let's do it again, let's do it again. How are we gonna do it? We already showed what we can do in Rainmaker. They know they're gonna be a little bit better about it, playing their defenses, and definitely they'll be a. Uh, and uh, they want to take away what they can from that victory there on that clan blitz, which was not just a quick KO was a pretty dominant game there for most of that set. What they got to build off what they can from that game. Let's see if they and, can. And here and here it is. Match 6 Black Belly Rainmaker. Grand Finals of Low Ink May edition. Yeah. But both sides still sticking to somewhere. We see a lot of we saw see a lot of buckets coming out here. We see regular slasher instead of slasher deco. Actually, no, combining that with the Stingray, no, I, I feel like the regular Slosher is still a really solid choice here. Very fantastic choice. And All-Star Squad drops one to Agaru to start this match. Drops two. It won't be like the last one with a quick KO from All-Star Squad. If, a, yeah, if Agaru ends up getting ends up getting two more picks, this the Ray, Ray. coming in, though. Very much, Ray. very much looking to, yep. Push him right back into his the teammates. Ray May not have gotten picked. Dying. Very crucial there. Not denying any kind of quick KO. Of course, uh, and at this point, All Star Squad does have control of mid. They they are set up to make the push, and if and if All Star and if uh, and if All Star Squad is able to get the picks they need, are not the heavy goes down. Wow! Look at that timing. Right as that ray ended. That's fantastic timing there, actually. Yep. But they unfortunately, you're going to get hit from the pe that. three people from mid. But that's a fantastic timing. If only they could have built off that a little bit better. That That's about the, as much timing as you want, where the ray's not going to kill you, but you can start moving with the ray out active. And that is going... Crypto, moving and forward. Another, and this is going to be another ray battle here. Both the rays trading... That's a wipe, Everyone though. All-Star Squad can move. Agaru not able to get the lead they needed. Especially with these teams. Especially, especially with these teams being able to KO as quick as they have been on Black Belly. Black Belly not even getting halfway to the, the, the pedestal. That's crazy to think about. Especially, especially with how dominant both these teams have been up to this point. Both teams are really finding where where each other uh, are strongest and weakest, and uh, well, knowing to fix some of their flaws. 
Yeah, barely both forty-two. And that is going to be in favor of a Garu, although and is perfectly manageable by All Star Squad to bring back. Definitely can beat this. It's on Rainmaker. This is nothing. And they jumped out. They jumped out with no Ray, but the Rainmaker goes down to the Slosher, the only one that could have done that. The Ray coming out. If a Garu is able to get some picks. Oh, they might... do. This this Rainmaker is in a good spot for them. Yeah, if they're able to get the picks they need, a Garu might be able to. Ooh, nice turnaround there. Pick, they might be able to end it he here now. But they can't. They just that heavy. Just even though there's the three heavy of them and there. Slosher is just in a really scary position for them. The the Ray shutting down the Charger from from possibly sneaking in a few more points. That heavy just single-handedly stopped Agaru from moving forward. Single-handedly there. Team the rest of his teammate assisted him there, but I got to give him credit for that one. A uh, three-on-one scenario, oh, the team isn't pushing you. Oh my God, this is. If they stop playing, they could get a redo. They have to stop playing, though. Within the rules, they are within the rules of a redo. But since they're not Wait. stopping, they will not get a redo. We don't expect you to stop immediately. It happens. But uh, you, they are completely not stopping whatsoever here. They're still playing this out to the bitter end. And now, officially, they cannot get it redo if they'd like, but, uh... Fortunately for All-Star Squad, that DC comes at just a terrible time. That was that was the worst possible time that Heavy could have DC'd. That Heavy had been going off all game two. But congratulations to Agaru on winning the May edition of Low Ink.